okay in previous tutorial we have this distribution um, one thing to keep in mind this is distribution can easy apply uh, for the ecosystem for example if I want to have just plants in specific area or um, based on altitude of the terrain not necessary other ones I can apply this as well uh, on that and the best parts about this because you see we have at zero edges so it's meaning right in this area okay let me expand just a little bit bigger our preview even this point is higher than this edge but because it's happening before zero edge applied we have a nice distribution can go on those edges as well so it's kind of very useful to do this way okay let's go inside our terrain and the same we'll go to print right here take a little bit down okay smooth on the bottom so just right in this area just move up maybe you know a little bit more so we have it smoother integration just on the edges slightly and just kind of blending a little bit nice okay um next we can start working on the edges actually let's go with the main ground and i want to have it a little bit kind of reddish a little bit more terrain a bit too red okay let's go to select slightly orangey okay and in those paddles we'll go switch this to the actual natural grain color so it will have it in those areas just have it a little bit nicer um we can go edit color and you know what let's just maybe make icy see how it will look if we have it a little bit again because how the effect applied it's a little bit too purplish so we'll go to grayish kind of maybe around this area let's see how this one come up a little bit pinkish which is okay and you know what right click edit color give it us bare access Right here we'll go to this one go darker around this area okay so we'll have it quite a bit darker area it's what I was looking for and the top where we have this green edges same let's go to reset this color and we can go to natural grain and this one actually I want to apply reddish more okay, right there Kind of those top heels will give it okay this one maybe a little bit darker okay so we have it kind of adjust maybe a little bit even more it's too subtle okay there you go so we have nice look on the paddles again a um, little bit grayish same with this we'll go so the blending slightly a bit better too much yellow going on there okay let's go see how this one should come up yeah the nice contrast it's what I'm looking for okay when we're done with this let's go click OK at this point and we'll take our camera we can come closer to our terrain at this point I'm going to bring a little bit up and then what let's do this let's go take this terrain and shrink slightly squish from the top so we have this kind of beautiful interesting paddles going around and with our camera we can kind of preview but it's not total paddles it's maybe even craters okay and down there and preview maybe around this area okay the other also trick because i want to see them but the cover what we can do with terrain we can squish a little bit more and most interesting what we can do we can actually tilt it so let's go tilt just slightly up. OK, 
Okay, and bring right there higher and bring a little bit more higher. So what we do, we change a little bit position of the plane so we can see more of those elements, more kind of of the palace kind of interesting access. Okay, let's do switch more and bring closer. So yeah, we can see a little bit more deeper in this way. Okay, take my camera and a little bit up, open the horizon. So in some cases, um, maybe even going, you know, with a one third or whatever. Uh, next thing is what I want to do. It's create a few models on the side. For this, we'll just go create a normal terrain. Okay, let's go scale this quite a bit bigger size. Right click. We'll go to edit this object, and you can do this by double time clicking or do other effect. Okay, I want just increase a little bit, not too much. Young month and click on this. So right here you can see we have it for pop. We can increase and let's stretch just a little bit. So right here we have it some mountain. Let's bring it slightly down. Okay, and also what I'm going to do is take main terrain, right click, copy materials, and apply this. To our other material. The one thing you notice when we apply it, because we have all of this, they're not linking to anything we did not create it. And actually, you know, I want to remove them. I want to just have it one original on a back. And the reason is we will apply some other effect to this. But for now, I just want almost like small, far away placeholders. So we'll go right there. Hold down Alt, copying. So we have it on another side, a little bit far away mountains. It just gives it us nice effect. We can also go and maybe recreate different mountains. You always can clip a couple more times, see which one come up more interesting. Click OK there. And again, notice there on the back. And you know what? I don't necessarily like how this one come up, so I'm going to regenerate this one same just clip on the young mountains be sure something come up that i like it okay click ok so right here we have it two nice kind of peaks and they will far away um okay let's do one more so we'll copy but this one will do a little bit different because i want this way on the back okay normal size kind of like extend it almost and you can see how far away this one come up okay, let's bring a little bit more up right there we have a nice effect okay let's copy again alt hold and drag Let's increase this one in size and scoot more to the edge. So you can see right here, we're kind of creating these tunnels almost preview. Okay, so I think this is okay now for creating a little bit of the um, our terrain. And you know what? I maybe want to squish a little bit more. Problem with squishing, I want to be sure it's all parallel set. And squish slightly more. So we kind of can preview now. There you go. Yeah, this way a little bit better looking. Okay. So let's do in the next portion, we will create some model or some effect but i think overall it is looking okay now okay right there just just so they level a little bit better we maybe play a little bit better with shapes afterwards 
But right now we have to our main terrain and something gone far away. So I think it's a good step at this.